Ceid Mila Falta, 100,000 welcomes to Irish Paint Magic. Today we're going to go to Dingle down in Kerry. So I want you to come with me now up onto this 24 by 18 canvas, which I have prepared. And I've already explained many, many times how I prepare my canvases. It's a, an ordinary white canvas, but what I do is I blacken the canvas with black gesso. On top of the black gesso, I put liquid clear. And up here on the white part, I put liquid white. So the whole lot is slick and slippy and ready to paint. So straight away, I'll go in to um, with this two inch brush and a little bit of blue and some black. And I'll darken the corners as I always do. Up here, one corner. And with crisscross strokes, uh, that would be an exaggeration now when I do this. But that's the type of stroke that you should be after. And keep the old brush on its edge. Now this is a pretty big brush. It's, um, it's a two inch brush, but it's a special bristle brush. It's not an ordinary brush that you paint. I do a bit of whitewashing at home and in the old farm building or anything like that, or out in the kitchen. It's a special bristle brush. Now, there we go, nice bluey color, toned down. And here again, right down, right down, all little X's, crisscross strokes, right down to the horizon. I don't hardly touch the canvas at all as you go down. Now you can get it down into this mountain range here. And this scene, if you're going to Dingle, you'll come across it on the road if you're driving. Now this will push the, um, that mountain range back. You can see them going back already, as it is. And here again, I'm just going to darken that slightly there. Blue it and darken it slightly. And there again, let it run on down. The reason for that is to focus your eye down into the painting. No other reason. Now, I just leave that there. And I get myself a one inch brush into titanium white and just tap in and look up at your painting and play one color against the other. Play one color against the other. And let it run down, run down into the dark color, but don't go to the top of it. So you can create a shadow in here underneath. And then stop it and wipe your brush when you come off. Now you come back for more paint, titanium white, and go back up there again. And just tap in, pointing the brush for the sun, which will be coming in from the right hand side of the uh, painting. A lot of people now are confused about how do they get the color and the light and the dark. Don't be confusing yourself, it's quite simple. The sun shines, there's only one sun up in that sky, and wherever it shines, it leaves a shadow. And that will be the brightest part of your painting, where the sun shines on it. And so don't confuse yourself. I'm going over here to pick up a little bit of dark, like this. And I'm bringing it back in under there. See me? Bringing it right under to make a shadow. Just makes a shadow in under that. Maybe a little bit more. Just all tapping now. Don't go to any great trouble. Think of... Um, our lovely Irish dancers, all tapping. Lord of the Dance and River Dance and all those great programs that have promoted Ireland all over the world. And now, please God, we hope that painting will promote Ireland as well. And that's what we want. This painting is for everybody. No matter what walk of life you're from. And if you're sitting at in a hospital or a home watching this, you're very, very welcome. And we'll bring you out to meet the countryside. And please God, when you're back on your feet, you'll come and see some of this scenery all over Kerry, all over Ireland, magnificent scenery, artist paradise. I always say it's an artist paradise. And don't be always on the main roads if you're not in any hurry. Get into the hidden island, in off of the main roads. And then you'll see the beauty of the hills and the coastline right around the country. Absolutely magnificent. Lovely subjects for painting 
lovely subject for photography. Now I'm going to get a soft brush, two inch brush, clean, and go over all that very gently, very, very gently. Don't lean it or it will disappear in you. And it will sit down if you ask it to sit down. Sit down please, Mr. Sky. Sit down and leave it go at that. Now I'm just going to get a little the filbert brush and a little bit of black, small bit of white, and a bit of black. There's plenty of blue in this black. And over here, it's too far away for any great detail. Now I'm going to turn that brush and down into the valley. Down into the valley. No detail whatsoever. Let it run right down that way. I don't do any, any great detail. And wipe the old brush and you can go back in again. Bit of black, maybe a little bit of brown this time with it. Black and brown. And again, come to this one. Bit of brown with it, maybe a little bit of cyan at that side of it. And then again, get it up and twist and roll that brush. Roll it right down, roll the brush. The paint will come right off fire and down in there. And that will push that other mountain ridge way back there. Maybe a little bit of color here, bit of yellow ochre, a bit of green, not a lot, not a lot. Just as we're coming that little bit closer, it will uh, obviously show up. And again, right down, and again, right down into the, the valley here. Wipe the brush. Small bit of white. I need to get a flare of light there. Just a, a separator. That's all it is, separator. As though the sun is going to hit that side. And it will. Sometimes we get lovely sunshine. We get such a variety of weather in Ireland because of the Gulf Stream. Now somebody is disputing that at the moment, that it's not because of the Gulf Stream, but I'm not worried where it comes from. But we still had a beautiful variety of weather. Now here we go back into black, Van Dyke brown, dark cyan, mostly Van Dyke brown. And there's another one here. As a matter of fact, I let that one continue on up there. Here you go. And again, roll that paint off, down, down, and roll it off the old brush so that it will contrast with the beautiful colors there at the other side. I think I just let the, all this go into one mountain here. Yes, it is. It is actually the same one, but there was a division. It all depends on where you're standing. And let that run right up, right up, right up, and onto the canvas and coat that. Now, but when you're filling this in, be quite dark and quite dense. Pull it down with the, the fall of the ground. The fall of the mountain comes down, strokes like this, to come down onto the plains. Like that, that's correct. That's it. A little bit of red in there, but coming quite close here. Small bit of crimson. Brighten up. And let it be quite dense here then. And again, maybe a little bit of color now introducing yellow ochre, bit of green again, and we can introduce a little bit of color here. Just a little bit. Not too much, I want it to be quite dense there. I don't want to jump it out too soon, too fast. And again, just soften it down and go away from it. Leave well alone. Leave well alone and we'll go right across the whole lot there. Now, I'm going to get myself a fan brush and there's a lot of fields in that here where the, the farmer make their living. Bit of yellow ochre, cad yellow, and it's just a matter of where the sun would catch, catch the fields here and there. Sometimes there'd be different colors, different colors come up on the fields and let it run right along, along here. And let the sun shine on some of those fields. Right along. And right down and down in here. Now, that's fine. 
Now what I got to do is wash this old brush and wipe it in a tissue. Now there is, along here would be a horizon, along here. So I just soften that so you don't know where one color started or the other finished. Now what I'm going to do now is mix up some, um, some black and brown and green. And I'm going to thin this out. I'm going to thin it out. Very much thinned out. But very dark. And the way I thin it out, I just put my knife into the white spirit. <coughs> so that it's quite a liquid, in other words. And I want it to be quite thin. And all these areas are full of fields and different owners. Lovely part of the course down here. Really nice place to spend the weekend. So I go in here. Now there is a perspective point, so it should be out here really. And really don't confuse yourself about perspective. Don't uh, bog yourself down just buying books and volumes of it. It means that all, everything will go to one point. And I've just picked this point here, just on this. And um, do not try to confuse yourself. So if a line goes this way, if I take this line, it should go up here, and there's one. Let's see it going up there. So that would go run up that way. And you'll see in a moment now. I want you to enjoy your painting, not to be confused. And if it's within reason, you'll get away with it. And. Uh, by all means, if you want to buy a book on it, we'll explain it better. I've just got 25 minutes to try and explain it to you. But other than that, now you can divide these into fields, like so. And there. Whatever, break it down into sections, and you'll do fine. All with the knife, all with the knife. And again, now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to fight and create, the course comes in here, the sea comes in, to the, meets, meets the, the shore around that point there somewhere. So all I need to do now is get um, Van Dyke Brown on its own, Van Dyke Brown and catch here and pull down, there's a cliff face all along here. And that will push the old sea back. Not too, don't have it too even. Make sure it's broken up. And you'll see it contrasting against the nice fields that the farmers are tilling there in the background to make their living. All along, comes all along there. Quite simple, just use the knife and don't be going to any great detail with this at all. Now I need to highlight that. And all I need to do then is get my knife and a little bit of white, small bit of white, and a small bit of dark cyan, small bit of dark cyan, and get in under it and mix it. And don't over mix it, leave it more or less marbled, and cut across it and get a roll of paint on it. And just barely touch this, just barely, don't overdo it. Leave lots of little lights of uh, the light or the darks come through and come right along it and talk to it nicely. Say, I missed up to your face, please come along there for me. But don't go to the edge because I don't want to, anybody to fall over it. And that's fine. You get a clean fan brush. Load it well with paint, with uh, titanium white now, not the, not the liquid white, titanium white. Load it well. And come up here now onto the canvas. And the water comes right in there. See that sparkle? Just pull in on it. That's it. It comes right in, but don't kill all the dark cedar. And right in. And right in. Now I have in here as well, um, I use a lot, of, a lot of contact paper for these programs because I only get 25 minutes to, to, to do these and I have some sheep in there. And uh, you'll see later on. I'm cutting into this now to soften it so that you don't know where one started or the other finished. I'm cutting into the, into the cliff face and the sea coming in there. I just get a little bit of liquid white there and get in under that. 
and you'll see where the ruffle of the water hits the, the coast. There's a nice gentle ruffle there today. It's a good day for it to go fishing. It's safe. And don't be going out there without a life jacket. Make sure you have a life jacket with you. And it goes right in there. Don't be going fishing without life jackets. It's too dangerous. Now, what I've got to do now is get back a little uh, liner brush and with tin paint, quite tin, into that dark color, green color I put in there. I'm just going to load that well and come along your ditches and just hit it here and there. Follow the line of the ditches and you get tree growth all along, but not all, not all along. Here and there. A lot of these ditches are they were for years knocking them down and now people are giving grants now. The government are giving grants to put set aside to the farmers to leave set aside, I think it's 10 or 15 feet each side of a ditch. And that's good because our wildlife can have a sanctuary then and that's very good. That's good thinking. And everybody can live happy, the farmer, the birds and uh, the animals, the badgers, the foxes all live happily together and that's good. I was worried about our little small birds a few years ago, only three or four years ago. They were all seen to be disappearing. But I noticed this year a lot of them back in the gardens again and that's good. It means that all this set aside is working. That they can have their own little sanctuary to get on with their business of nesting and uh, getting on with life all together in harmony. Now. Make sure when you're doing this that the brush is vertical. All these are vertical now. They're all standing up. And um, just continue on following the ditches all along. God, the country used to be full of ditches one time in Ireland now that with heavy machinery and all that and combine harvesters and they took away all the old gates and now the contractor can come in and He's gone out in the one day. <laughs> it reminds me long ago of the old thrashing. And when it could take two or three days to do the thrashing. And all the neighbours would come around and help out. All the neighbours would come around and in the evening or midday they'd bring out a bucket of tea, the sandwiches. And uh, in the evening out came the porter. And if there was a good harvest, there was probably a dance in the evening. Lovely memories that should not be forgotten. Now we move along here, just given the illusion that uh, there's trees all along. But what I want to do is here, is um, to create the illusion now of uh, getting a little bit of white here on the knife, on the sharp edge of the knife, because people live here. And here we go. There'd be farm yards and barns and, and everything like that all around here. And just put on, don't be um, bogging yourself down trying to paint every little detail because these things are miles away. So you would have the farmer, he'd have his barn and he'd have um, outhouses, etc. But they're too far away, so you don't, need, um, you don't need any great detail at all. And they'd be all different colours, all different colours. Now what you do is, with the knife, with your knife, get in under this and just go horizontally along, along the ditches, along the trees, along the barns and the outhouses, and ask to all those ditches and trees, please Mr. Ditch, please Mr. Tree, please sit down for me. And by just going along, they go back into the liquid white, or the liquid clear, and sit down, provided you talk to them nicely. You would have outhouses, all bits of gadgetries, but if you really want to get them to sit down now, you'll have to practice a nice cork accent. And they will sit down for you then. Paint really sits down for a cork accent. And if you're not from Cork, if you're from Kerry, Galway, Clare, Dublin, you can always practice it. <laughs> we, we'll allow you to practice a cork accent. We won't. We won't hold that against you. Now, I'm going to get myself a clean fan brush, 
clean fan brush. And I'm looking at my pit. Uh, in here, I have some contact paper, as I said. And whereas I don't have time to be uh, painting animals in now, but what I'd done was I painted them in, a couple of sheep, and then what I'd done after that was I covered them with contact paper. And you can do that. You can do it the other way around. Just put the contact paper on and then paint them in after. But this is for speed. So I'm going back in here <coughs> with um, the fan brush, and I'm going to pick up some um, cadillac, maybe a little bit of green with it. And maybe a little bit of crimson, and maybe a bit of everything. Everything about the kitchen sink. And now I'm going to push this up, push it up. But we're close now. We're we're, um, we're coming closer. And there's scrub and there's everything growing up here. We're looking down onto the plane below. So don't be afraid to um, push that brush upwards and force the um, force off the uh, the paint off of that brush. And you have all this rough grass up here now because we're very, very close. I go back in and I load it again. We're very, very close now and we need uh, much, much, much more uh, paint. Or more colour anyway. Now, here we go. And you pick up all these colours and go right along with them. They're all there. Beautiful paint, beautiful colours and the grass and all that shrubbery and everything is here. Only just force it up. Paul, our head cameraman here, when he sees the clock ticking and I'm running behind, he doesn't spare me. And you probably can hear the ruffle of the, uh, the furniture being kicked around, but we won't hold that against him, he's okay. Now, continue on with the same thing right across and fill it all in, fill it all in the whole lot of it, right across, and try and keep the old corners dark as we come down and down into that corner. Keep it as dark as you can, down here. Don't go to any great detail. I'm hardly putting any paint on the brush because I want this to be quite dark and dense down in here, near me. And all I'm doing now is forcing what's left off of the brush, and I just put that aside for now. Now what I want to do here is create this big boulder here, a little bit of Van Dyke Brown, and I'm going to come in here and just go over that. A bit of Van Dyke Brown on its own. There's no need to go to any great detail. And I'll put another bit here. There's another boulder here. And again. And a bit of dark cyan and white. The same colour as here. I already have it here. And I come over here and pull that down and I pull it in the opposite way and let it sit down there like that. Again I go back and load another piece and again I pull it in the opposite way and I say Mr. Rock please sit down for me and it will, it will if you speak nice to it. I put that away. Now I'm going back for another little bit of um, yellow, a bit of green, a bit of crimson, a bit of white, yellow, blue, doesn't matter. Go in front of the rock and say, Mr. Rock, please sit down, and it will. And Mr. Rock, please sit down for me, and it will. Now, what I was saying about the contact paper, I have contact paper in here. I didn't have time to paint these, but there's a couple of sheep in here if I can find them. I said, please, Mash, please come out here. And I pulled that contact paper off. There's one. And I know that he had a, a companion with him. And all I've got to do is find him. Now, here's his body. Now all these mediums and all these materials are readily available and you can find them uh, you can find them on the, um, the end of the program, you'll see them on, on the screen. Now what I do is come across these again now without any great detail and I just go right in front of the, the sheep there and ask them to sit down. That will let them sit down, they're in there in the grass picking around and that's lovely too. And right around I'm going to get also, I want to take the opportunity now to uh, thank TG Car for allowing us on to their lovely program. And also you, if you are enjoying it, to please contact us again. Send us in a, a photograph of any painting you have done, and maybe you can, we can get a shot of it on for you. And we want you to try and adapt this system for everyone. There's a bird back in there. Another one. 
and he flies. Just coming in over the bay. Now all I have to do now is pick up a little bit of the liquid white here. A little bit. And I go W-I-L-L-I-S. So until we meet again, got a meal of good. Shlan Lat, and God bless you all, my friends and your families.